welcome to Keep Making Art. I'm Mrs. Doles, and today we're going to talk about our new project. It's called I Spy. In this project, I have you drawing your own eye. Then, in the background of that drawing, I have you dividing the space into six different sections. The different sections are representative of who you are, kind of like a self-portrait. Then, after the drawing is complete, I'm going to have you go on a color scavenger hunt. Go throughout your house and look for six to eight items of each of the colors from the rainbow. So six to eight items of red items, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Then once you've gathered all those items and you've completed your drawing, you're going to put it together into one art piece. Photograph it and send it to me. Let's get started drawing. Okay, so this is the portion of our drawing assignment. What I want you to do is go get a white piece of paper and a pencil. Make sure that your pencil has an eraser or that you have a, an eraser to use. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to fold your piece of paper. So take your full size piece of paper and fold it in half. Once you fold it in half, I want you to stand it up so it's like a sign. That way when you're done with your artwork, you can put your artwork on display if you have it in the right orientation. So I'm gonna have you fold your paper and then stand it up and then lay it back down with the fold on top and the opening on the bottom. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what we're doing to start. First thing we're gonna do to draw our eye is we're gonna take our pencil and in the center of our paper, we're gonna draw a small circle. This circle is our iris, which is the color part of our eye. Then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the lid of our, of our eye. In drawing your lid, I want you to, whoopsies, I want you to look in the mirror and see what shape your lid makes, okay? So this shape, this line, what does that look like for you? The second line, the bottom one, is also part of your lid. I need you to look at what your lid looks like. Notice that I didn't close the lids here on either side yet. I also left a gap space between the iris and the bottom lid. You don't want the iris resting on the line on the bottom. You wanna leave some space. That way it'll look realistic. On this right hand side edge, I'm gonna go ahead and round out the two areas and close that gap. On the left hand side, you can see I'm kind of creating this little rounded area that goes downward. That's the tear duct. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create where the eyeball is separated from the tear duct area. So there's a line right here. And it's drawn very lightly so that way I can adjust my values as I go. So remember, don't make dark lines as we go. Make light lines and then we'll darken some of them in. It's going to be up to you to create different values by creating different pressures with your pencil. Unless you have drawing pencils, then you can use a wide range of pencils. Otherwise, with one drawing pencil, just a number two pencil, you need to create the values by using different pressures. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place in the crease of when our eye is open there is a lid crease here. So what does that crease look like on your eye? Place that in. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the pupil. The pupil is the black part of my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a circle. Within that circle, I'm gonna create a smaller circle. That's the reflection that we're gonna see, a reflected light area. So we're gonna leave that alone. Then I'm also going to put a circle within the iris colored section of my eye. I'm going to go back to the pupil and I'm going to color that in with lots of pressure creating a black or as dark as my pencil allows area. Okay, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit further so you can see closer what I'm doing. The next section is going to be the iris, the color section. I'm going to put in some dark values in about three different spots. I'm gonna make this just a tad bigger as well. Okay, so right now I just have some three 
three different black or dark areas that I've put in. I also have my reflected light on the iris area so that way I don't color that space in. Once I do that, then I'm going to put a medium kind of value in around between those dark values. The edge of my iris for my eye is a little bit darker, kind of like an outline. So I'm going to put in that darker outline. And I'm going to make sure that, again, I don't color in the reflected area. And if I do, I just will use my eraser to fix that. Once you have that eye drawn, then what you can do if you need to use your eraser to lighten up the values, you can. You can go ahead and go in there with your, your eraser. And you could either blend your values by just lightly rubbing or you can remove some of the graphite to create a really light value area, okay? So once you have the pupil and the iris drawn in, now we need to work on kind of some details to make this look a little bit more realistic. So for the bottom lid, the bottom lid actually is three-dimensional. Well, both lids are three-dimensional, but the bottom lid needs a little bit of a shelf here to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and not just a line. So go ahead and create a little shelf in there, another line. Now, if your shelf touches your iris area, then you need to kind of redraw and back up a little bit. You don't want your iris touching the lid at all. There should be a white space between the bottom of the iris and the lid itself. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create kind of a little bit of shadowing underneath the top lid. That shadowing is casted by the top lid itself because the lid is three-dimensional overhanging my eyeball, right? The other thing is my eyeball isn't pure white. It has some cast shadows kind of in the corners. So we're gonna put a little bit of cast shadow in the corner and you can see it's a really light touch with my pencil. If it gets too dark, again, I can use my eraser to kind of tidy up and make better value changes. My tear duct, I didn't like the shape of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that a little bit. If After looking at my eye here, I can see that it's not as big as I have it. it is a pinkish kind of hue, so it's gonna read in black and white a little bit darker. So you wanna put in that kind of dark value, medium to dark value. Not as dark as the pupil. The pupil is black. So in relation to black versus kind of a, a deep rose kind of color, you want to make sure that you're matching those values. Once you have those in, those values in to make it look a little bit realistic, then you can start to really put in some darker values. So think where the light wouldn't hit. So down in here in this corner of the eye, where the lid is overhanging and the, there's a cast shadow, there's really no light going in that crease, so it's gonna be a lot darker. Also, the edge of my eye kind of got lost in those values, so I'm gonna put that back in. And up at the top and at the bottom, again, where the light's not hitting, is gonna be a little bit darker. So you wanna put those in. Same thing with the crease in my eye. I might wanna give it a little bit of value on those edges where it really creases or I've got a few more wrinkles maybe. I don't know, you have to look to see what yours looks like. After I do that, the other thing is everybody's got some veins in their eyes. So lightly give yourself a few veins. You don't wanna look like you've been up playing Fortnite all night, so just put a little bit in there on that camera, it looks pretty dark, so I'm gonna use my eraser and tap them just a, a tiny bit so they look less veiny and just a hint of line work in there, okay? So then once you're done with that, the next thing are eyelashes. The thing about eyelashes is this can go from looking pretty realistic to really fake and cartoony. You have to think eyelashes without makeup on them are really just strands of hair coming out to protect your eyeball. So they're not growing in one order, they're not all the same length, some of them are thicker, some of them are bunched up, so really the bottom ones are very, very fine 
and you want to put them in kind of going different ways and just lightly put them in and you can see that looks really nice and realistic if you put them in as hard strokes you're really going to lose this eye to looking like a cartoon Okay, so the next ones are the top ones. So again, look at where they start. You probably have a few here. And then I'm lightly just putting in just a few. That one curled. If it curls, great. If they don't curl, don't put in the curls. Think about where they're bunched up. Take a look at them. If you have real dark ones, make a few of them dark. Mine are very fair and very light and very thin. So I'm not going to put that many. The other thing is, after you're done doing that, you want to go in and really put in some of these values that maybe got smudged or lost or could use a little bit of darkening. And if you darken too much, you can always go in with your eraser. I'm going to put just a few kind of darker eyelashes in so that way it reads a little bit better. All right, so that's kind of where I'm at and I think it looks pretty good. I'm not a fan of this little triangle whiter area, so I'm gonna just touch that up a little bit. There we go. And it looks a little bit droopy compared to what my real tear duct looks like. So I'm gonna fix that area there. Okay, so once you have the eyeball drawn, then what you're gonna do is you're going to divide it into six sections. You can get a ruler and really get this thing divided by, um, you know, perfect measurement. Or you can basically just take your lines and divide it into six sections. One, two, three, and then four, five, six. So there you got your six sections. And then from there, in your sections, you're going to put in information. And the information is your self-portrait visually represented. So what I want you to do is I want you to, in the top section, I want you to put a design. And in the right section, I want you to put your favorite food. And then I want you to put kind of things that represent you and what you like in the next one. And in the bottom area here, I want you to put another design and I want you to put your name over to the left here and your favorite place over to the top left. So if we were to number these off one, two, three, four, five, and six, you can see, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit more and I'll put them side by side here. And you can see in section one, that is a design. Section two is your favorite food. Section three is all about you and things that make up who you are. Section four is a design. Section five is your name. That's how I'm going to know this is yours, right? And then in section six, it's your favorite place. So in my design, I have kind of these scale kind of things that represent um, kind of like the ocean and fish and different things like that. I have my favorite food, which is Mexican food, and I have a taco, tomato, onion, pepper, um, and avocado, and some chips all in the background. In the All About Me section, you can see I have my potter's wheel, I have my paint palette, I have my two kids' name, my running shoe, music, my favorite flower is a sunflower, I have an apple because I'm a teacher and I teach at Rancho, and I have my dogs, Roxy and Cosmo. So that's all about me pretty much in a little area drawn out. I have these swirls to again represent kind of the ocean, and um, wind and earth elements. So you can see my designs really relate to each other because they're all about being like at the beach. And then my name, which a lot of times when people can't pronounce my name or get stuck if it's doles or poles, I, I tell them because of the pineapple, doles. So I've got a little pineapple there. And then my favorite place is the beach. 
Um, and I love being in California. I love living here. So I've got a little heart in SoCal there. And I've got the sunset because that's my favorite part of the beach is the sunsets. So that's what we have for our drawing part of this project. So again, you're going to draw your eye, section it off into six sections, draw all of the different sections. Um, and you can read, you can go to the assignment details that tell you every single thing that you need to know about the sections um, in the link below. I'll put that in the description and um, that'll tell you exactly what you need for the assignment. After you do this drawing, then it's time to do the color scavenger hunt. So go get all of your color scavenger hunt items and put it all together, photograph it and send it to me. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you liked it. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.